Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Troy, I'm Bold, and I collect watches. And today I'm just gonna be showing you my latest pickup. It's more of a quick first reaction unboxing, which I've already unboxed it, but I'll show you the box and the manual that this watch actually comes in. I've coined this the Casio Annie Tiffany, but it is the AQ800 EC2AEF. And I will put that along the bottom for you guys because that is a hell of a mouthful. Um, it's the and it's part of vintage range and it's their Annie Digi line. Um, they've recently released this watch in a, I believe a black and a gold face and I believe a white face with a checker plate design. But then they've also just released this colorway along with the IP coated green dial and then the IP coated rose dial, which is absolutely stunning. I actually think the IP coated ones look better than the um, the, the steel effect, the, the metal effect. I think the I, it just adds this this cool vibe to it. But this is still a beautiful watch. Don't get me wrong, this is stunning, especially with the Tiffany blue dial. Unfortunately, what I picked up on is the indexes and the hands are actually the same color as the dial. So the dial, even though it's a stunning color, I think maybe Casio should have gone with with black or, or metal or obviously polished indexes, silver polished indexes, just to maybe contrast that dial a little bit more. But yeah, it does clash a little bit. But it's a beautiful somber star. Stunning somber star. So I've got to give that to Casio. Obviously, we've got our digital display down here, which I've already set the date on. I'm not too familiar with this movement especially this button on the side so I'll probably cut to just reading some of the manuals so I can come back and tell you exactly what it is but that's that's the beauty of of get, getting these watches opened and out and to show you that I'm learning I'm getting hands on you're seeing my reaction which is true which is true to form I'm not opened and had it for a week and then tell you what I think about it which of course I will show you what I think about it in a later video with a full review but the bracelet on here what got me is it's how articulated it is it's it just moves like a like a snake and it just catches the light like each little link bounces the light ever so different from the next one it really is nice it's a beautiful bracelet beautiful bracelet we've got stamped casio clasp and this is how you would adjust it you would move this part along this will clip off so i will probably cut get it to the right size for me and show you a little wrist shot at the end. But if we just go through the digital functions, so there's the the date. And we've got, what we've got? Oh, if I go down here, mode, sorry. We've got the alarm, so that's currently set at 12. We've got the time, the time to match the analog time. So the digital time is matching the analog time. I'm not too sure if you could set these two differently to have two different time zones. Um, once I get playing about with it, I will uh, show you in a future video if on the review if that's something you can do. This is just the first reactions and a and a small unboxing. We've got a stopwatch, so we'll do up here to start it. Is it the same to same to stop? And I believe if we hold it down, oops, sorry, just start it again. Stop it, and then do we hold the bottom one? Now that goes through the modes again. Let me cycle through again. Right, so we'll start it, stop it. And then we're doing the same again. So if I stop it and hold it. Right, so if we stop and hold it, then it will reset back to zero. So there's your stopwatch. We're back to the time again. And the date. So very limited in its functions. Very different to a lot of the Casios that are out there. It is literally just the stopwatch and the Annie Digi display with date. So there isn't a lot on there, but give me two seconds. I'm gonna find out what this button here is on the side. So here we go, button C. In any mode, press C to advance a time setting by 20 seconds. Holding down C advances the setting at high speed. So shall we check that out? Let's have a look. I'm sure I've got something like a pin here. Not sure we've got a watch tool here. Here we go. Right, shall we have a look? Push it down. All right, there we go. So the analog time is moving. So that is how you would change your analog time. 
with the C button. And I did see down here as well, if I just pop the watch down here in the instructions, it will allow us to, there's a QR code, take you to the Casio website, I'm trying to get you to spend more money, which is, which is a, uh, the name of the game for Casio. And we don't need an excuse to buy another watch. We don't need any QR codes. We'll just go online and buy one. Here we go. So we did see something here. Ah, dual time mode. Dual time lets you keep track of the current time in another time zone in addition to your current location's time. So you can set the digital and the analog to two different times. So this hand is a handy travel watch. So if you needed to have, say, US time there and UK time, then perfect, perfect choice. So should we just cut to a wrist shot just so you can see what it's like? Um, whilst you're here, I will also tell you about the £100 watch challenge, which kind of egged me on to buying this because I actually own the Casio MTP, the, the uh, Casio Tiffany, the new Datejust, which is sold out everywhere. So I saw this to have as a companion to that one. Um, there is a vote in my community section where there's 10 of us taking part within that challenge. So please, if you haven't already voted or seen any of the videos, I will link in the description below uh, the video explaining the challenge. And please, please do take part and see who found the best watch for £100. But like I said, we're going to cut now to a little wrist shot just to see what this looks like. So there it is, guys. That looks pretty sweet. If you're wondering what size my wrist is, I have a seven inch wrist. And I think that looks pretty sweet. It's quite easy to resize. All I needed to do was just lift the latch and move it over. I'll show you how to do that in a full review, but I still left quite a bit there. Just some breathing space. I don't like my watches on too tight, like a little bit of movement. But I did purchase this watch from a UK store, uh, CW Sellers, who have currently got 15% off of this watch. It'll be the shameless plugin. Go down into the description below. And you will actually see, I've put a link there. They've got 15% off at the moment if you use the code uh, CW15. Uh, it is an affiliate link, so I will get a small commission. Um, but I will promise to put that back into the channel with things like giveaways, um, and just being able to bring you the best, absolute best content I can. Um, you've all been great subscribing to the channel whilst I was uh, a little bit lazy last year, but I had unfortunately building work going on, um, which is pretty much all finished. So hence why I'm really trying to come out of first gear and into, into full, full throttle, I should say, back into making content for you guys. But the people who stay subscribed and the people who have recently subscribed, I do thank you. Um, do let me know in the comments below what you want to see in future. I'm open to suggestions, but I have thought I'm going to bring you this bad boy to go alongside the new Casio MTP. And I think that blue is absolutely stunning. Anyway, guys, please remember, I'm an enthusiast and not an expert, and I'll catch you all very soon.